All right, I'm gonna do a quick video here. Just a little show, a little flashlight. Uh, they sent this to me, a review. I've kind of been testing it out. Oop, got all the stuff going out of it. First of all, it comes to Brynite flashlight. So it's pretty cool. It's actually pretty cool. Um, comes with uh, all this stuff with the instructions, everything like that. A little uh, hook and loop patch if you want to wear that for some reason. But uh, first of all, this, this you know, I always say it, and I'll say it every time I do a flashlight review. I mean, a lot of people, a lot of companies over the last couple of years have sent me flashlights, and they've all been actually pretty good lights. Um, but one can never have too many flashlights. That's, I firmly believe that. You cannot have too many flashlights. You can, you know, especially if you, you know, get them sent to you like this, you know, I mean, you can put them in your house, you got them in your car, you got them in a the drawer when you need them for emergencies, you put them in your pack, yeah, everything. I mean, you can never have too many flashlights. Anyway, here's some of the, uh, this is the PT-18 Pro Oath Keeper. So, I mean, here is a 2000 lumens flashlight. It's got some of the features, you know, it's water resistance. It's 360 meter beam distance. Some of the stuff on the back, if you want to pause that and look at it. All right. So here we go, let's get this flashlight out. All right, comes in two colors. It comes in black and it comes in this uh, flat dark earth or desert tan they call it but uh that's pretty nice light you know it feels pretty solid i've been actually testing this went for a walk last night and used it a uh, very nice light very bright and i've got fields across from me you know in the street across the street from me and shines out there very well out to a good distance that's for sure and what kind of makes this unique this is removable just pull the cap off and remove it but you've got this little self-defense knuckle right here you've got your fist load basically with the light and that right there but if you don't want that this part is removable you just remove the cap pull it off put the cap back on now this is a very cool flashlight I always talk about wanting to have end cap buttons because I just, it just makes it easier, quicker. Buttons like this are really flat. You see how that is? That's flat. And um, hard to find in the night, especially when you've got this side where the charger has a magnetic. It comes with a cord and it's a magnetic charger. So you just kind of magnetize, you plug it in, magnetize it, sticks to it, charges it. However, you know... You have like a vape uh, battery charger. Comes with those same type of batteries and you can just charge those up. It's a lot quicker too. Actually, I've never even used a magnetic charger personally, but not against it either. So very cool. Anyway, so you kind of got your, you know, it comes on, but you know. Well, well, there's your light. It'll be hard showing this during the day, but here's a light. The next lumens, which is a uh, low is 10 lumens, middle is 60 lumens, high is 450 lumens, and turbo, which is 2000 lumens. So it's pretty bright. And then back here, you can control those also. Now, back here, you can control that. But you also have this little button right here. Strobe, and then it kind of does a different flash. And it goes back to strobe. So it's very cool. Very cool. It's got a battery indicator on it, you know. So, let you know that it's about to die. Let you know it's fully charged. So very cool, very cool light. I'm gonna give you a quick look at it, you know. So four modes, 
of brightness and all that. So strobe, SOS, it's very cool. It's actually a pretty solid light, you know, so we're going to do a quick review of it. It's got good knurling on it. It's nice, clean, light. Got a good grip on it. And like I say, you know, if you need this in a self-defense mode, you're out for a walk like I am sometimes. Need that real quick as a self-defense mode. You have that right there. So that's a very cool option to have. I've never seen a flashlight that had this on it. Um, they may have many out there. I just never have seen one personally. Very cool though. But like I said, if you don't like that, you can remove that. And it'll look basically like that. So yeah, see there's the black one. This versus the uh, flat dark or desert tan they call it. So we're gonna do some night shots. All right, we're gonna do a little street view here. Turbo, right there. Does pretty good, does pretty good. It's lower settings. Pretty good beam, you know? Pretty good beam. Also do it from the back. Turn it off. And you can use that little switch for strobe. Very cool, let's take it to the field. All right, start off with the turbo. See the old tanks. Looks like a pretty good light. Strobes and SOSs. Turbo once again. 